Hi guys, welcome to the Realm of Astrology. This is your daily horoscope for June 25th, 2021, which is a Friday. But before we begin, I would like to let you know that I do daily video horoscopes that I post on my YouTube channel every single day. I do weekly video horoscopes that I post every single week. And I also do monthly sunrise and sign horoscopes that I post every single month. You can watch all of them and i also request you to hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon so that you can be notified every time i post a video okay so let's talk about today now today is a day after yesterday which was a big day in astrology we have the full moon in capricorn which was a powerful full moon and it brought to light a lot of information and it was a positive full moon with a sextile to jupiter now, that being said, if you want more details, you can watch my full moon in Capricorn video, which I posted yesterday. But today I'm going to focus on June 25th. Now, let's talk about the first thing that's happening today. So today we have the moon at about 3 a.m. Pacific time, which is about 3 p.m. India time. It's going to square Chiron, 90 degree angle. And at the same time, it is going to try your eyes. 120 degree angle. The 90 degree square to Chiron is challenging while the 120 degree trine to Uranus is positive. It's beneficial, it facilitates things. So there's a lot happening at this moment at about 3 a.m. Pacific time, 3 p.m. India time, give or take. And let's let's break this energy down. The moon is our emotions, it's our emotional body, it's our heart and soul. And Chiron is our deepest wound. It's also how we heal. And in a challenging aspect, we may need to adjust something emotionally, take a decision emotionally, or just change the way we think about things from an emotional perspective. And that will lead to some sort of healing. But this sort of healing with Chiron, it is usually bittersweet and in a square aspect can definitely have a bittersweet aspect to it. So to sum it up, Moon Square Chiron is a healing to our emotions, to our inner heart and soul, even to our identity, but it may, it may come after a change, it may come after an adjustment, and it may feel a little stressful and bittersweet. However, the silver lining in all this is the trine to Uranus positive angle, which means that this healing, this adjustment, this change, can come out of nowhere, it can be unexpected, and it can take place quite easily because a trying facilitates things, it makes things happen with the flow. And let's not forget that Uranus here is in a semi-sextile to Chiron, which means that we are, and this energy has been with us for months, uh, Uranus semi-sextile Chiron. And we have been healing in unexpected ways. We have been healing through unconventional means. And even today, this energy is present. And with the trine to the moon and square to Chiron, moon square Chiron, there's a healing element that can come unexpectedly. And it might feel bittersweet. This energy, I would like to say, is a bit of both. is positive while being stressful. And it, that's okay, because sometimes positive things come out of going through stressful moments, through changes, through adjustments, through growth. But overall, it's positive. Yeah, and, and since the moon is in an earth sign, Capricorn, and Uranus is also in an earth sign, Taurus, it could very well be connected to our material reality. It could be very well connected to our self-worth, our values, our skills, our finances, this little emotional change that I've been speaking about, which eventually will lead to healing our identity. So that's 3 a.m. Pacific time, about 3 p.m. India time, approximately. And let's talk about what happens next, which is the biggest event of the day. And let's talk about that. It happens at about 1 p.m. Pacific time. So I'm going to keep the chart at noon so that I can show this to you guys. So you can see Neptune right here is at 23.11, right? And this is 12 p.m. Pacific time, so about midnight India time or 1 a.m. India time, 26 June. Right now, Neptune, the 23.11 is in black form, right? Now I'm going to move the chart ahead and then you'll see it turn red. It's turned red right so 1 p.m pacific time that's about 1 a.m india time tomorrow 26 june 
and Neptune has gone retrograde. And Neptune goes retrograde for about a few months in a year. It will stay in retrograde till December, I believe. So good, good five, six months, it's going to be in retrograde. And what does this mean? Let's break it down. Neptune is a planet of the higher realm. It's the planet of spirituality. It's the planet that is the higher octave of Venus as well. And on the other hand, while Neptune can be beautiful, it can be magical, it can connect us to our spirituality, it is also the planet of confusion, of delusions, of deception, of addictions, of drugs, of lies, of not being able to see things clearly. And what this means is while Neptune is direct, while we are working on our spirituality, spirituality, while we are working on developing love and compassion, while we are working on connecting with the higher realms and taking ourselves higher and indulging in things like music and poetry, we can also have confusion. We can also have some delusions. We can also be prone to addictions and drugs and all those sort of things because that's the other manifestation of Neptune. But as Neptune goes retrograde, the main thing is that the confusion eases off. Now clarity comes, reality hits hard. So if there has been confusion, and there has been confusion, there has been confusion for the past two to three weeks because Neptune did square Mercury retrograde, the sun, the new moon solar eclipse that happened on June 10th, it made a lot of squares, which meant there was confusion. And while Neptune was doing all this, we had Mercury retrograde. And Mercury retrograde is a time period where our mind doesn't work as well, where we don't see things very clearly, where there can be confusion. So for the past three weeks up until June 22nd, on June 22nd, Mercury went direct, which meant the confusion eased off. But now Neptune going retrograde means confusion will ease off even more, that those delusions can begin to ease off. While this is a positive thing, one thing to be mindful of is that sometimes when Neptune retrograde, the reality can be a little hard. It can be a little difficult. Not necessarily, not necessarily at all. On the other hand, it can be the most beautiful thing. But just be mindful of that, that we see, we begin to see things clearly. And sometimes when we see things clearly, we may not like what we see. But it's not necessary that we may like, not like what we see. On the other hand, we may really like what we see. But I'm just preparing you that that may be a possibility. So that is the main event of today, Neptune going retrograde. We will be in this energy till December. So that's that. And that happens at 1 p.m. Pacific time, about 1 a.m. India time, 26 June. So now moving on, moving on, let's move the chart. And this happens at about 8 p.m. in the evening Pacific time. So 8 a.m. 26th June India time. And here we have the moon at 23 degrees sextile Neptune retrograde. Now this is a positive aspect, 60 degree angle. And the moon is our emotions, right? And Neptune, like I said, is spirituality, higher realms, drugs, delusions, deceptions, confusion. And now it's in retrograde. So Neptune retrograde square the moon is a positive emotion about some, it's, it's something positive. Perhaps we're seeing things more clearly and those things are positive, but it is a feel good energy. It is a positive energy. It is an energy that aligns our spirituality with our emotions. And that happens at 8 p.m. Pacific time, June 25th, 8 a.m. India time, June 26th. Okay. And moving on from this, moving on a few hours, about midnight Pacific time. Yeah, 1 a.m. Pacific time, June 26th to 1 p.m. India time, June 26th. The moon is going to conjunct Pluto retrograde. Now the moon conjuncts, meets up with Pluto once a month. So once a month, we go through a major emotional transformation, major emotional healing. And this is right after the full moon in Capricorn. So this is a point where we are, where we, where we are transforming emotionally, where we are healing at an emotional level. And this, it's the beginning of that transformation. It's the beginning because when two planets meet up, they begin a cycle. And for the next one month, 
the whole month will be about transformation, about healing, about catharsis. Yeah. So it begins at 1 a.m. Pacific time and 1, 1 p.m. 26 June India time. So that's the energy for today. However, I do want to mention something that we are building into and it's extremely important is the Mars-Saturn opposition, 180 degrees between these two planets, okay? And Mars is our willpower, it's our drive, it's how we take action, and Saturn is decisions, it's discipline, it's hard work, it's the builder. And when these two energies oppose, uh, oppose like this, it, it's asking us to integrate our willpower with our decisions, our drive with hard work. So there's a lot of energy here. It may feel stressful, but the underlying energy here is about defining how we take action, taking decisions and taking that action. So this is a good energy, I would say. I mean, it's stressful. Yes, it is stressful and we are building up to that. But I do believe it will lead to positive things. And we'll talk more about this when it comes exact, but we are building into this energy and this energy is about taking decisions that will help us take action. And this is for the long run. Why is this for the long run? And this is in alignment with where we've been wanting to go for the past one year. Because Saturn is, sorry, that was a bad <laughs> drawing. Saturn, Mars, op opposition. Now Saturn, is also trining the North Node, 120 degree angle, supporting us move towards our goals, supporting us move towards our future. And Mars is now sextiling the North Node. So whatever decision we take to take action is in alignment with our goals where we are headed for the past one year or so. And this, these goals, these decisions are for the long run because Saturn is for the long run. And the trying to the North Node, I've been saying, is something that we've been building for the long run. And that's all I'm going to say for today. And I'll give you a little bit of the underlying energy that we've been facing because that's what sets the tone for a few months or years in astrology. So let's talk about that briefly. If you've seen this, do skip it and go ahead to the card reading. If not, then I urge you to watch at least once. The first thing I like to talk about is the Saturn Pluto conjunction. Now, these planets meet once in 33 to 38 years, and they met up in Jan 2020. And they met up in the sign of Capricorn, the sign that rules our material reality, and they changed something in our material reality in a very powerful way. And this new cycle, this changed cycle, will stay with us till 2053. However, we are right now in the process of laying the foundation. 2053 and yesterday's full moon in Capricorn really brought, brought to light or revealed or made us understand or helped us release things connected to the Jan 2020 beginning of this cycle. So that's the first thing we're dealing with in the background. The second thing we're dealing with is the Saturn-Jupiter conjunction. These planets met up in December of 2020 just six months ago and these planets meet up once in 20 years and they also begin a new cycle when they meet up. So they met up in December of 2020 and right now we are laying the foundation for the next 20 years and we will continue to lay the foundation for the next two years. Now the third energy that we're feeling very intensely in 2021 is the Saturn Uranus square. Now these planets squared last time 21 years ago so this is a rare energy as well and this energy is all about embracing the new, getting rid of the old and finding your unique self and embracing your unique self. And this will feel challenging because they're in a square and on June 14th the square came exact so right now we're only 10 days past the square coming exact which means we're feeling this energy very intensely the energy the intensity will begin to go down as these plan the orb between the planets increases but right now it's very intense and this is demanding us to change this is demanding us to get rid of all things old ways of being, thinking, living, embracing the new and becoming who you truly are. And the last thing I will mention as the background is other nodes. The North Node is in Gemini, the South Node in Sag. They were in the same placement between 2001 and 2003, Gemini and Sag. 
and the nodes are karmic so they might bring up similar themes events situations for you to resolve overcome close out or take with you to the future and this has been happening since may of 2020. now i will pick a card for today and then we'll close out the reading Okay, I'm gonna go pick that card up. Okay, actually, pick another one. It says unfinished symphony. And this card has come, I think, once or twice before in my daily readings. And to me, this just means that we are building right now. There's a lot of unfinished work left to do. It will take time. And we keep getting reminders. I mentioned this in my yesterday's video that we need to keep going. We need to keep working. We need to stick to our work, to our path, because it has been very intense. It has been very challenging. Not to say it's been negative, but it's been challenging. And we get reminders that right now our work is unfinished. This is not the end of the world. There's more to come. And we must continue because it's unfinished right now. Our work is not done yet. So keep going. That's the message. I will pick another card for today just because I feel like it for some reason. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Go with this. Co create. This has also come up. And co create, it means that right now we are co creating with the universe. We are building, we are working with the universe, we are working with the energy. And it is not done. Our work is not done. So continue, continue co creating with the universe, continue playing your part, and we'll get there. Don't get disheartened if you're feeling disheartened. So yeah, that's all I leave you with and I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Do hit the subscribe button, do hit the bell icon and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.